Hi, Ultra Legends. Uh, thank you so much for your comment. You are saying that just preach your religion only. Don't compare other religion to show that you are only right. Uh, well, I have no problem to preach my religion as well. But the thing is that when I preach my religion, that being the only truth, just what that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says in the Quran, in Surah Al Imran, chapter number three, verse number nineteen, in the Dinna in the Allah Islam, verily only Islam is a religion that is accepted by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. But the problem is, whenever I say that that only Muslim will go to paradise and go to heaven, and non-Muslim will go to hell, you guys and some of you, I will not say, I will not say all. But some of you will say that no. How can you say that other religion are wrong? How can you say that we are going to hell? How are you? Why you are saying all these things? That is where the problem arises, you know, because whenever I claim and I say that Islam is the only truth and Islam is the only religion, there will be people like you and some other people who will say that how can you say that? Now, in order for me to say that, meaning I have to compare, right? Now, as well that, can you say that all religions are correct? Now, when you say all religion are correct, how can you say that all religion are correct? Meaning, you have to do some comparison and study. But if you are saying that all religion are right, all religion are correct, without you doing some study and comparative religion studies, meaning you are lying to yourself and lying to the public because you cannot make a statement when you yourself have not make a study about it. You have never learned about it. Can you be fair by saying that all religion are the same when you never read all the religion scriptures? Meaning you are just making assumptions, but by you making assumptions, basically you have just proven that the Quran is right. Where Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala mentions in Surah Yunus that majority of people they are making assumptions in what they believe in. So are you one of it? So is it wrong to compare? No, it's not wrong at all. I can prove to you one by one why it is not wrong to compare. Because in our life, every day we are making comparisons on a daily basis. Let, for example, we go for politic. Now, when you must definitely, I, I believe that definitely you have a political party or a coalition that you support, right? So, if you are supporting one coalition, okay, why not you just ask the party that you are supporting, ask them just to talk about how good they are, what they're going to offer. But and never compare themselves with the oppositions, the other party. Can they do so? They don't, right? Now, what to eat? Where to eat? Which is nice? Which roti Chinese is nicer? Which nasi lemak is nicer? Do you compare which school to go? Which car to buy? Which house to stay? Everything you are comparing, even by making decisions of what to have for your dinner and lunch and breakfast and everything, you are comparing. And most probably, when you get married. You are comparing too, right? Who to marry to? Why you don't marry to anybody? No, you don't. You only pick the best according to you after comparing. So, comparing religion is nothing wrong unless you can prove to me it's wrong. Comparing religion is nothing wrong as long it is based on authentic scriptures and authentic texts. Okay, it is based on reference. It is not based on assumptions by itself. Comparing religion and comparing any other things, talking about any uh, anybody else can be wrong. Even as a Muslim, I would say it is wrong when it is just a mere speculations. It is just a slandering without any evidence and proof. So, ultra legend, comparing religion there is nothing wrong. If it is wrong, please prove to me that how it is wrong and why it is wrong. So, I look forward to your answer. Thank you so much.